All right, so let's talk a little bit about the arrangement view. Of course, in the arrangement view, audio and uh, information is going to move from right, I'm sorry, from left to right. I had to get my bearings together there. So audio and the playback is going to move from left to right. Move this down a little bit. And we've got uh, our audio tracks from top to bottom. So what we're looking at here is if I hover my little selector tool or mouse over this little gray bar, it's our loop selector. So I can turn the loop on and select regions of to loop right here. And the important thing to notice, we're also looking at the beat ruler right across the top here. That's the numbers 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and so on. So we've got one beat, two beats, three beats, four beats. One, two, three, four. So again, we can move our loop tool and select different regions to loop within that area or anywhere within our project. Just by hovering the mouse over, let the little bracket show up and place the loop where you need it to go. I can zoom in and out, like I've mentioned before. But what's really cool is if you watch in this action, the grid is staying locked. And this behavior can be modified and changed. If, you, if you're someone that doesn't prefer the grid lock, kind of with your Zooming in and out, I personally, that's my preference, but everyone works differently. Down here on the right, you can change that behavior right here. It's got an adaptive grid on or off feature. You can turn that off or leave it on. You can also choose between 116th, 132nd, 164th, and so on. Triplets, fifthlets, all kinds of crazy stuff. So. We're going to leave that on for now and move back over here. So what we've got here is this little blue guy is our playhead. And what you'll notice is it, it's set at one one to one now. But if I hit the uh, transport, you'll see it begin to play. And of course, we've got the loop on for this bar. One, two, three, four, loop back. And it's going to continue to do that for us. But what's really cool is if you watch wherever my mouse and selector tool go, the playhead's actually following it. So if I click right there, boom, it's on. Anywhere I want to go. Nice little behavior right there. Playhead's following my mouse. So with the adaptive grid that we are mentioning here, again, that's a personal choice, but if you do have it on, you can really get in here and do some really, really fine detailed work. So like if I wanted to grab a little section here and get rid of it. I can do that relatively quickly. And just to show you, that was an extremely fine edit and was able to do that with the adaptive grid behaviors. So that is part one of the arrangement view. Let's move on to the next video and uh, show a little bit more about how we're going to be using the arranger and the timeline together as we move forward.